Hey everybody, it's Abandoned Brian here today. Um, I'm over here in Williamsport, Maryland at the abandoned W.D. Byron and Son Tannery. And it's kind of interesting. This place closed down several years ago and they actually had a company that come in and started to uh, demolish the place. And it's almost like they knocked the buildings halfway down and then just kind of stopped what they were doing and locked the gates and just left but you can see they've been gone so long the fences have just completely fallen over and nobody's been back here so if you guys want you're more than welcome to come check it out with me we'll see what we can see I am really surprised you can access this that easily. Uh, I just simply pulled up, pulled my truck up, and I'm right here. There's my truck parked right there. You can see my truck. I mean, you can see how dangerous this could be if, you know, kids were over here playing. I mean, you're straight out on this catwalk. Who knows how deep this is? Some kind of pollution. I, I have no idea. There's an old electrical transformer right there. I guess that's what that is. Got these huge tanks over here, too. Not sure what they are. Not sure what any of this is, to be honest with you. Wow, look at the size of this crane hoist right here. This place was just full of electrical panels, let me tell you that. My biggest surprise though when I came into this little tiny building was that there is a set of stairs going down. There's your eyewash station. But yes, there is a set of stairs right here going down and I have a feeling it's probably flooded but let's walk down anyway and see what we can see. So yeah, it's definitely flooded. Man, very creepy down here to be honest with you. Smells like fuel. Can you guys see the pumps over there? It's like three or four major pumps here. And it's just all underwater. Yeah. Looks like somebody cut the motor off that. This is just crazy to me. There's this whole water treatment thing. This kind of creeps me out. I'm not going to mess around here too much. But hate to fall in that thing. You'd be done for it. Whatever this thing is, it kind of has a like a trough, if you will, around. You can see here in a second. Not quite sure what all that's for, but. Here's another one of them places where they had a big hole that was cut off. And you can see the big gear here. If you 
you guys like what you're seeing, please hit like. And if you want to see more like it, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. The road is very close uh, to where this is at. And cars keep going by and slowing down and giving me these dirty looks like this fence isn't knocked down. But not just knocked down, but you can see this tree's been growed up through there for a while. So it's been down for quite a while. And like I say, it's abandoned. Nobody's looking after this place at all. I don't know if this is the main gate. Well, it wouldn't be the main gate. The main gate would be up front, but this is, you know, certainly an access gate going straight in. You can see wide open. I haven't seen any no trespassing signs. Um, I guess if you're coming in from the front side, there's some no trespassing signs. You can see the construction people when they come in they actually took the tin off the roof put it in piles like they were going to do something but then never come back they just locked the gates and left another fall hazard this door wide open so it's a pump lift station there's water underneath there. You can see the pump right there. You can see these massive pumps up here. That's a huge pump. Yep, yeah, several of them. Really concerned about the animals and the kids there, to be honest with you. Look at this. Just like a big swimming pool here. Look at this thing. If you're lucky, I guess you can climb up that PVC pipe on the other side. But it looks too deteriorated. I truly don't think you would ever get out of here. You would be dead. Here's another one. And over here, it's just one right after another. Here's another one of these huge pumps. I'll show you. You can see how the trees just grow up clear over top of that. It's been quite a few years since they closed. building right here and see what's in there so all the buildings are open at least so far anyhow not really much in any of them that I've seen but a lot of junk tool cabinet There's the restrooms. A handicap shower. I guess this is just an electrical closet. So on up 
the steps. We'll go upstairs and then we'll come back to that door. I don't know. I'll tell you, all them cars that was going as slow as they were, somebody might be coming back with the police. Boy, you can see nature just coming straight on in here. See the vines coming in the window there? Here would have been looking out over the rest of the facility. Oh boy, another office with just certification of approval. Guardian State Training. And this is for September 5th, 2003. So, yep. Tons of records, tons of papers. Here's one of them danger holes up above the other angle. That water just looks nasty to me. All right, well, we haven't been arrested yet, so I guess let's go deeper into this facility. Still no no trespassing signs. A lot of my friend's parents worked here, and actually my brother uh, worked here as well, the one that shows me a lot of this abandoned stuff. Boy, look how they left this, just caving in. You can see there, they just ripped both sides of this off and left all the middle there. Not sure why, no idea. That's where we're heading. That would have been the main original office buildings, but I want to get sidetracked first and go over here. All right, we might have a downstairs, but I have a feeling it's flooded. I can see water. I'm not even going down in there. It's nasty. So I'm thinking this was probably the guard shack. But it wouldn't have been the main guard shack. It would have been the side guard shack, I guess. Definitely for security. show you the rest. Here's a fire extinguisher. Um, not really much in here. Bathroom probably back here. Bathroom slash electrical closet. Not really much in here. I don't, there's not really much left in any of it. Just interesting to see. I know in the main building, um, there's some pretty cool stuff in there, which is where I'm headed to. So be patient, stick with me. All right, so here's a calendar it says June um, 2014. So I can't remember when the tannery closed, to be honest with you. guys know there's a lot of this campus or facility whatever you want to call it that we will not be exploring today um, you know there's just some places that I'm it's just not going to be safe for me to go by myself uh, I don't recommend you ever doing this by yourself but I did today This little trench trap around here, I almost stepped in that. See, that's why you don't go by yourself, to be honest. Right there's why. See this little trench trap below me? It's like the metal plating's gone. Somebody's pulled it off. It's also why you have to be careful when you're doing this kind of stuff. 
I I don't know what this is. This is like a almost like another one of those laboratory areas. You got sinks and a lot of counter space. Yeah. More reason to think it's a laboratory. There's just a whole box of glass pipettes. Brand new. Yep. There you go. I knew it was a laboratory around here. Really just a lot of big rooms is all that's left. I guess, you know, when they did shut this down, they cleaned out what they wanted and left what they didn't. Yeah, you can see all the electrical outlets the whole way around the room. Yep. I'm not sure if we're authorized or not, but the door is unlocked, so we're going. There's just another bathroom, toilet. My little trip or my little fall hazard. I guess there's two bathrooms side by side, so one would have been the males and one would have been the women's. That's what I'm assuming. Um, not really much more in here. Here's an old something or other. There you can see what would have been the original building up high. And then they would have put the new office in this building. You see the drop ceiling and all that. But you can see like the old window frames for the original building back when it was built whenever. Okay, so here's our destination right here. Um, not sure where I want to go get in. I guess we'll go back around this way and see if this back door is open. So you can see here's another one of them places where they just kind of knocked the ceiling and half the wall down. Just kind of left. Old ladder there still where it laid. Here's the old service elevator. I don't think this thing's moved in quite a while, but you can see here's the inner workings of it. You would have had two beams, one up the side. See them there? And then a winch motor basically in the middle would have pulled that whole carriage up. There's just so many electrical closets around here. I mean, I don't want to miss anything, but I hate to keep showing you guys the same thing over and over again. Here's a big pump for something. I'm not sure what, but... Then in this building, it looks like it kind of goes down into where the offices would have been. See how it has a couple little steps here? So you actually go down. You can see the roof... Um, Leaking pretty bad, a lot of decay going on here. All right, so we found the steps going up. Oh, look at that door. I would imagine this is where the top brass worked. Look how the woodwork has changed here. Nicer woodwork. Here we got a pop machine. Looks like somebody's already stripped it out. But yep. So basically, I guess as you go on back here, it's just men and women's bathrooms. Somebody got a little paint happy in here, it looks like. This would have been the women's bathroom. This is basically just numerous offices up and down this hall. A ton of them. 
Nothing really interesting in any of them though. A lot of leaking going on up at this side though. You can see the walls. See how badly decayed that is over there. Got insulation coming through. And the tile on the floor is just totally torn to shreds. And you can see daylight up here. It's pretty bad. We got built into the wall bookcase. Almost guarantee you this was the big wigs office. I mean, look at the woodwork. Wait till I get turned around behind me. This would have been the walls, front door. You can actually see Mother Nature coming through there. See the vines. See these beautiful built-in bookcases. Unreal. There would have been the door on the other side. Let's see, this is how I'm gonna do this. So here's the ceiling up above me. It's got all this fancy woodwork coming down to this. This is just beautiful. It's all built in. That's why I say I'm sure this was the big wigs office. Just look at the woodwork. I mean, I feel like that was probably hand carved. May even be original pieces, who knows. Then the trim way up there, it's just so beautiful. And this is just, it's all getting, it's damp in here. I can feel the moisture everywhere. Actually, I can touch the doors and I can feel the moisture on them. But yeah. So, that's probably going to be pretty much it for this video. Um, oh yeah, I still have to do the attic. So there's still a little bit more. Hang on. Look at this little set of steps. And this is just going straight out to the outside. This would have been the boss, the big wigs, um, secretary's office probably. You yeah. know, still very fancy woodwork all the way around. Yeah, I can't believe I was going to forget about that attic. Let's run down. Oh, here we got something in here. Let's look at this. There you go. More awards. Yep. All right, so here's our attic. Look, these would have been original to the original structure. I mean, you can just tell they're old. Yep. Yep, no idea what this stuff is. There would have been the old safe. Somebody's already busted it open. So look at all these trophies. Bowling trophies. Baseball trophies. Yeah. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of trophies. Lots and lots of trophies. 1989 Konica Jig Little League Champions. I have no idea what all this equipment is for, but there's all kinds of stuff back here. I mean, it looks like sophisticated equipment, too. Who even knows what all's back there? I'm not sorting through all them boxes, but yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? All right, so that might be all for the video. I'm definitely going to take a few more shots of the outside, though, no matter what. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure. I might go over to this other building, or I might leave it for next time. I'm not real sure what I want to do. So we'll see you outside, though.
I have a feeling this is just a maintenance closet. Just full of shelves in here. Very, very funky smell in this part of the building. I think this is the paint side, I think is what they told me one time. Mixing materials, flammable. So yeah, this was most likely the paint room. It's probably what that funky smell I'm getting. There's not really a lot to see left in here. More or less just big open room. Nothing really impressive to see. All right, that's it. I'm heading back to the truck. Um, once again, if you guys like what you've seen, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like it, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. You can see this Byron, uh, Byron Leathers towel. You can see this thing pretty much anywhere. We, it's kind of amazing how much of this building we're not going to see because this wall that's torn out here, from here, all the way over to this other section, this was all under roof. This was all part of the same building structure. They just basically pushed the middle over. You can see the pile of concrete and rebar here behind me. You can see over there is just nothing but a pile of PVC pipe and conduit from where they was taking the thing apart.